Well, there is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be our year, we're going to do it again, it will be us at last. Those Big chance! There it is! Well, right from the first whistle, they've played with an energy that makes them good value for that early goal. Ghana are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Ghana go ahead, one goal to the good. Forward it goes. Ayu. Gets wrestled off the ball. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Partey battles to win it back. Gets away from his opponent. He's had a shot. And oh! Really well taken goal. And they're at it again in double quick time. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Ghana take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. He's gone for goal! Straight at the keeper. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Partey did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Gets the better of his man. Ayu. And Ayu! A real chance and a real let-off. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Ghana are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Goes for it! Hits off target and by quite a way. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Drives it towards the front. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Partey. Has a hit! And there is the half-time whistle. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a Another show of strength. Ghana in control at half-time, 2-0. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. He'll have a go. Keeper's not concerned by that. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Partey. Ayu is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. And the shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Fence has got rid of that. Now a chance to break. Tries a shot! 
Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Partey. Has he picked him out? Fires from distance. Oh, what a hit! What a hit! That is a gem! An absolute gem! And the lead is three! It is surely done! What a fabulous hit! No keeper in the world is keeping that out. Well, maybe they were asking for it there, because if you allow him that time and space, he's capable of scoring from anywhere, and that's tremendous. Ghana take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Good, strong hand by the keeper. He gets past his man. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Ayu. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Amati positions himself well and cuts it out. Now it's Ayu. And that is that. Ghana have got off to an ideal.